So now that we have a better sense of where this vision for Occupy Peace came from, let's get into the specifics of it. How does the Occupy Peace movement uh, that you are creating different from other peace movements we've seen in the past? Because the other peace movements and all of these movements, all people do is they go to a rally, they yell, they scream, they pray, they ohm, and nothing happens. This is an action plan for peace. What are you calling for specifically? Well, number one, to honor thy founding fathers. And here we are in colonial Kingston where the seeds of democracy were sown. And beginning with George Washington, a real commander in chief, a guy that fought and led the troops. His farewell address, no foreign entanglements. And so the other points in addition are? Close all the bases, mm -hmm. bring home the troops, secure the homeland. We have the troops at home, homeland secured, put them to work. Instead of building highways over in Afghanistan and in Iraq, have them rebuild our rotting infrastructure. Here, read that headline. Drivers feel bumpy roads in the wallet. Wall Street Journal, major story. Our infrastructure is rotted. You go overseas, you look at our rail lines, you look at our airports, we're third world. Matter of fact, even Joe Biden called the Guardia Airport a third world airport. Gerald, what do you say to those people who, when they hear you calling for all troops coming home, that if you do that, you're encouraging terrorist groups like ISIS? Hey, remember that Vietnam War? Remember if we didn't stop those commies over there in Vietnam, those dominoes would be falling and before you know it, all of Southeast Asia would be communist. Yeah, even going all the way to New Zealand and Australia, and then hitting the shores of California. Who created ISIS? The United States killed over a million people in Iraq, destroyed the entire nation. How about overthrowing Gaddafi, destroying Libya? How about what they're doing in Syria? We gotta get rid of Assad, he must stand down. They created the conditions for this. If you were an Iraqi or a Syrian or a Libyan, and your family was murdered by the United States and its coalition of the willing, and you had no future in front of you, and everybody you love is dead and your country is destroyed, you think you might turn a little radical? Look at the conditions they created that did not exist before. So they sowed the seeds for ISIS. They planted it. No foreign entanglements. Hey, I'll tell you what, you're gonna fix it over there? You're gonna get all them ISIS's over there? How about fixing Detroit? How about fixing Camden? What about Ferguson? Been to Baltimore lately? I got some clown telling me how we're gonna do Grade and destroy ISIS and keep killing more people and creating more hate? What do we have? The Afghan war, the longest war in American history. And look how our president lied to us. Told us he was gonna bring home all the troops, cut the troop strength in half in 2015, then changed his mind. Eh, they're gonna stay there a little longer. But we're not gonna call them troops. Wanna go back to Vietnam? How about this word? advisors. Here, story out. U.S. intelligence agencies, ISIS, no weaker after year of U.S. bombings. Bombs away. They're destroying countries and killing civilians. ISIS. Rebuild America. We have a lot of problems here on our own. We're not going to solve others. You leave them alone, what are they gonna do? Come over here and pick up trucks? Toyota pickup trucks? What do they have? The best number that they could come up with according to the CIA? Maybe 30,000? And they make a big deal. Oh, two girls took off and married an ISIS fighter. So what? What, are they gonna change the world? We created the conditions for this. You know, there's a saying we used to have in the Bronx. Payback's a bitch. Hmm. Leave them alone. Stay, we've destabilized the entire Middle East. And again, you go back to the end of World War I, all the seeds for what we have today were planted then. 
It has never stopped. We have our own problems here. Rebuild America. Honor thy founding fathers. No foreign entanglements.